is I don't know what time. Um, it's a little bit. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a little bit before seven. It's like six fifty-three. Um, I do want to do another coat of the gray paint, but I just honestly do not have the motivation in me to paint again right now. And I actually need to go buy like some kind of brush because some of the areas like this, I it's gonna be like really hard to cleanly get that, you know, and not get on the cabinets because I'm not getting paint. I will live with walls. I will live with white on the walls before I live with gray, you know, over paint on the cabinet or whatever. Um, same thing for right here around the window. I definitely want to redo that. I actually need to fill all that in. So I'm probably going to take... I was like, oh yeah, I can put the microwave on and work around it. That's just going to be a pain in the ass. So I think I'm going to take the microwave off. And I actually want to do like a makeshift stud right here where this one mounts. Because there's just, I guess not really. Huh. Well, I mean, maybe it's settled now. There was the slightest bit and when i say slight i mean like nobody would ever notice except me but there was the slightest bit of play in it like i'm talking like that much movement and i wasn't okay with it but now it's not doing it so i think maybe everything just kind of like settled in so um that could be good could be bad but ideally i would like to take this off and when I say like a makeshift stud, I mean like just get like a two by four. I could cut a hole somewhere and, you know, slide it down in there. That way I can screw it into the drywall and it's going to basically use that whole piece of wood as like a bracket essentially. So it'll be a lot stronger. Well, be even stronger and give me room to work with this crap right here because this just looks terrible. It was such a quick. Let me slap this on and that should work good. No, no, I need to do it the right way. I really wanted to start getting some stuff back in the cabinets, but to be honest with you, I think I'm just gonna, it's gonna be easier to wait until I can just bring box after box and put it in here. Like right now, there's only certain things, like we have a lot of stuff that goes under the sink. I can't put anything there. Um, the Lazy Susan, I don't really wanna use those too much right now because the bottom slightly rubs and you know, I just want to give the paint the best chance it's got at not rubbing off. But, you know, a lot of stuff goes in them. Um, and then also, like, I still have a handful of tools in them. So I'm just going to wait probably till tomorrow when I can theoretically just get to work and put everything in here. So tomorrow is going to be the sink and get the cabinets filled back up. Figure out how to get these two on. So... All right, guys, it is time to get some food and get ready for bed. You guys, so look at this. If you remember, see where I'm at now, I wouldn't be able to walk right here because there was a stove and all the stuff taped to the ceiling. Well, I'm going to bed. It is almost nine o'clock. I've, I've gone, uh, again, of course, stayed up way too late. I got really anxious. It's I'm not gonna lie, it's been bugging me um the placement of this microwave upon hanging it i felt like it was too low um it looked all right and i would have dealt with it you know what i'm saying but like i was like ah oh, god it just I, that's gonna be too low you know it's gonna be awkward looking and you know we're not really gonna be able to use the back burners on the stove well i was wrong so i pushed you know some stuff out of the way and the stove is still a mess. It's nothing is hooked up. I just slid it over in the area. It's not even like as far back and slid over as it's going to be, but I am super, super, super happy with the fitment of everything. Like I was really at work today convincing myself that I was going to cut these down and take the other ones and flip flop them out, you know, because these are shorter height wise. So the microwave would sit up taller no, it is perfect. Well, first off, check it out in here. So uh, let me turn the camera. 
countertops looking good. I got um, most of them. I wiped it down with the microfiber little rag, so yeah, check that out. You guys, the fitment is just perfect. Like, it's not awkward. The only thing that's awkward is this stupid light switch, but I mean, you know, that is what it is. It's, you know, that's where it goes, but um, but yeah, holy crap. Like, there's so much, there's plenty of room for even our tallest pot. Nothing is gonna be hard to reach or anything, like, it seriously just, I'm so happy. It's good news, good news, good news, you know. I'm a little behind schedule, well, a lot behind schedule, but the counters having to redo them yesterday put me way, be I basically today wanted to be like buttoning everything up, but you know, had to redo the countertop, so that threw a little bit of a delay in there, but, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is Saturday now. So I was reading online because I'm like, dang, this stuff is still soft. Like, obviously, it's a lot better now, but, like, you know, I'm comfortable, like, you know, pushing my hand on it a good amount. But I'm like, dang, it still feels soft. Like, you know, and again, it takes, like, up to 30 days or whatever to cure. So I did the nail test over here in this corner. Like, I'm doing them in, like, random spots where, like, you would never see it. You know, where I know we're also going to have something sitting. And what that is, like, you just literally take your nail, like, you actually have to like take your nail like if you bite your nails or something they're short it's not gonna work but push your nail against the paint you know not like jab it but you know just a decent pressure and if it leaves a mark then the paint's not cured yet so i did it like i'm doing it right here on the edge where the sink is gonna be and it's not gonna focus of course come on but you can see like right there it left a mark I'll do it right there it's leaving a mark so this stuff is still really soft because I'm not even doing it that hard. But um, regardless, I am still going to put the sink in because you're not going to see what mark it would leave. You're not going to see anyways. So um, yeah, let's get to work on that. Actually, it might be smarter for me to figure out how to put these back in first. Because right now, like I got room, you know, if I got to use a drill in here or something like that to like screw them in. I've got room, you know, whereas if I get the sink in, I'm working from the bottom up and I have like this much clearance. So, uh, yeah, let's figure these out first. What also sucks is that I can't actually use the countertop. Like I can almost set these down. Nope. So basically they go like this. cool if they actually stuck but I'm definitely gonna have to like staple them in or something <laughs> let's see shrink and crack proof proof five times stronger adhesion full cure 24 hours Forgot about the hole. So there's like the hole for to grab it if it's not, uh, you know, before we had handles on there. And it's pretty much wide open. Almost drip caulk down there. That would have sucked. Instead, I'm getting it all over my hands like an idiot. Good enough for now, I guess. Let's hope they stay. Oh, that looks terrible. Can we focus here? How about now? A little bit better, I guess. So. It sucks because, like I said, I can't use the counter, so normally I would set the sink there and work on it, but here is that piece of glass that goes up in that fixture. Oh, it's nasty. It's just filthy, and it's, like, yellowed. 
Oof. More reason to replace that. Um, that one shouldn't actually be hard at all to replace. Just pull it out and then cut a piece of drywall to fit the new one and kind of screw it in. But, well, I don't know. We'll figure that out when the day comes. So, here is the sink. I need the big channel locks or whatever you want to call them down here. Oh, man, I can't bend down today. My back is killing me. This is such horrible timing. So I need these. Um, I need all of these little clips that it came with. Yeah, this is the guide. This is for the drain. And all these stupid clips go on this dang sink. I'm actually gonna throw them in here. Let's set this right up here. I think we install the drain first. I don't know. Probably not. It doesn't really matter because I have plenty of access to it. I'll probably install the faucet first. Okay. It's gonna be this right here. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna look sweet. This is going to make it feel like a kitchen again, finally. Because even though it's finally halfway back together, it still does not feel like a kitchen. Um, hmm. How does this work? <laughs> well, this is one that I definitely need uh, some instructions on. Okay, so these must thread in first. I like how they got marks on them. One's red, one's blue, so, you know, hot and cold. Most of these things don't actually do that. So these ones must connect to my part, and then this must connect to the sink. Okay, number two, connect the nut to the base of the faucet. Uh. Okay, so. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It mentions nothing about these screws, which is odd. It also doesn't screw past There's like a weird notch here. This is the weirdest install. Why wouldn't I connect these first? So there's like nothing but hand tightening. No possible way to get that any tighter than lightly snug. I'm not a fan of this faucet. What a stupid. 
stupid design. So I'm going to try to tighten from the other way. I do not have high hopes for the sink actually working. I don't know what just happened, but. All right guys, sorry for the interruption. Uh, Shelby called, she went on break. Um, so, update on the sink. I got it mounted, um, it's like just in the sink, or the faucet, I, keep, I think I keep saying sink. I got the faucet mounted to the sink, so now the sink is like essentially ready to drop in. Review of the faucet so far, or rating, I would give it like two stars out of five. Um, the, the way it's set up and the way you put it together is a joke. Um, first off, the instructions show many different things that this actually has. Um, the water lines, like, you literally cannot get them any tighter than just lightly hand tight, like, snug. You can't get your fingers up in there and tighten them. Like, let's pretend, like, this is, like, the base of the faucet. The connections are up here, so the water line's got to go up in there, and you just basically got to spin the entire line. And then once it gets snug, like, that's it. You, there's no tool that you can get up there and, like, give it another little crank or nothing, like... So that's not cool, um, but it is installed. Um, the little thing that you like mount it to, like that you screw it to, I don't understand it. That's also something vastly different from any faucet I've ever seen. So, um, yeah, now it is time to drop the sink in. Okay, so basically these screws, let's figure out how these go. This is how they go, like this is how you set them up. This, I think, goes in like the bottom of the sink or whatever, like the lip, and then this is what holds it like against the countertop. So you screw in, like with a flathead screwdriver, this right here. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it goes like that. So, I don't know. I've never done a sink before. All right, hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. Um, I got my phone propped up right here. I can see it on my watch a little bit, but uh, yeah. So, first I'm going to take the old water lines off. Oh, God. This is going to suck. I do apologize about the grunting and groaning. My back is killing me today. This is probably the absolute worst thing I could be doing. You're going to want to support these when you're working on them. Don't just want to crank on them. But they usually shouldn't be too, too tight. There you go. You get all the water all over everything. Yeah. Okay, so our sink lines are just gonna screw straight onto that. Um, and I know before any of the plumbing experts comment on this, I know this is not the right setup. I need this to be lower. Basically, I need to flip-flop these around so the drain has like a longer tube coming down before it turns, which I will do, I promise. I just found like the first thing that would work. So I'm gonna wipe the edge down here. Yeah, so in the sink, there's like these little grooves, which is where it, uh, the little things kinda Lock in. Uh, there we go. Wow. 
Oh, that looks so dang good. Holy crap. That looks awesome. I'm so glad I thought about going with a white or a black sink. White could have been cool. Because originally we weren't going to do the all black countertop. I mean, they were going to be like majority black, but there was going to be a lot of white in them. White might have been really cool, but I'm really glad we went with the stainless steel. I don't know, the, the contrast just really pops to me. Especially with the... Uh, the matte faucet here, the matte black. So that's a pretty good fit. Um, it's in there nice and straight. I measured, roughly measured. It's, you know, maybe like an eighth of an inch off, but the naked eye would never notice. So now um, I need to try these little clips, make sure these are all gonna work. And then we will pop it back up and caulk it in. So here is the right side of the sink. I'm gonna try my hardest to do this. Um, okay, I think that, yeah. So I gotta slide these in first. Dang it. Maybe not. Oh, cool, yeah, I can slide them out right there. All right, there is plenty of slack. So then what I do is literally just twist it like a screw and it's kind of a pain in the butt but hopefully you guys can kind of see that but the more I tighten it it's just gonna basically like pull the sink down so it's just tight um, I'm gonna do none on the front there is no way they can't there is no way any would get on the front I should be able to get some on the back. So I guess I'll do like two on the back and then two on each side. The front is definitely not gonna work. There is not a chance. I'm not gonna pull it up. I'm not gonna tighten them. I'm just gonna see if they fit. Cool, cool, they fit. I'm gonna do a little bit of Teflon tape, just that white stuff that goes around there. Um, and then tighten them up a little bit. And our drain will work right here. And cool, and I'd say in the next half hour, we're gonna have a working sink. So let's pop it back up and do some caulking. All right, um, I wish this thing just had like a, oh, cool, I can use this. <laughs> I say, I wish this thing just had a handle I could use. Here goes nothing. I guess I should have cut it at an angle, but. I'm doing a nice thick layer, but I'm going to do it literally like as close to the edge as I can get. That way, actually, you know what? I don't want it that thick because I don't want any to like squish out. It's actually kind of cool. I can see like where the edge of the sink was. No, it wasn't even laying all the way. I can see like where the sink left a little line, so I know like exactly where I can caulk. What a weird word. <laughs> actually, I'll go this way so I can see better. There goes nothing. Cool. Talk everywhere. Okay, so I just have them on the sides. And I feel like we're in here pretty good because I am really, yeah, I mean, it's not going anywhere. 
Definitely need to do some caulk cleanup here. I sure love when my phone just decides it's gonna stop recording. So the trick is to like, try to hold the clip where it's gonna go and then get the slack out of it. Cause otherwise it does not, like right now if I just tried to use the screwdriver, Whew. Ow, I just hit my head. This is where I get super annoyed and frustrated. <sighs> See, you go to spin it and it just... Oh, it's so frustrating, man. Okay, so I'm going to use one hand to hold it. to tighten it. This is barely... Uh, these clips are so stupid. Like, it will not tighten. It will not tighten down. Because it's at such an angle. Like, why... Yeah, I'm gonna loosen it. I wanna get it perfectly straight. Okay, there we go. It is perfectly straight. See, and then it just, the tension makes it pop off. Come on. That is the dumbest design. So here's like, we're pretending this is the countertop. That screw comes down right here and then it's got this clip that like, it's got like teeth that go like this and it's, you know, you just screw it in and it's supposed to just clamp on. Well, you screw it in and then it starts to like bite into the wood and then as soon as you let go of the screwdriver, it just goes and it comes off. I mean, the sink's not going anywhere so I'm not worried about that, but it's just, Okay, so I'm gonna go get some of that Teflon tape and connect the water. Actually, you know what? No, I'll do the drain first because I'm right here. Okay, so based on the surface, unfortunately, you know, it is a painted surface. All the tips of removing the excess caulk, caulk, caulk will not work for me because it will definitely discolor the countertop. So I am not doing that oh my god i would flip shit so um it was my next guess which is to just let it dry and then i can just run my knife through it and just literally peel it off so can have running water and this thing shoots out hard way harder than our other thing did um i do have to figure out some plumbing stuff because as you see it kind of like drains slow like really slow Um, so I think I'm not a plumber here, but I just think I have like just too many like bends and stuff right off the bat. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to ask a plumber buddy of mine, but, uh, yeah, holy crap. It feels so good to have running water. Like it feels like a kitchen again. Like my hands are dirty. I can wash them in the sink right now. And this thing sprays like no other, like. 
the pressure out of this thing is easily twice as hard as our other one. And I don't know, maybe our other one was just like, you know, had like some stuff building up in the lines and just, you know, it was time to replace it anyways. But I mean, that was, the one we had was an expensive one, man. I think I paid like, it was over a hundred bucks. I know that when I bought it, it was, it's like a name brand, you know, right from Lowe's. So I can't imagine, you know, it just going bad, but I guess, you know, different types of water, like stuff can build up. But, uh, yeah, holy crap. I feel, you know, I'm sure you guys could tell, like, I was just like not into it. Not that I wasn't into it, but I was just like, this sucks. That sucks. My back hurts. I'm sore. I'm tired. You know, this cock went everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. These clips suck. But then like you get everything done and you see the finished product. You're like, hell yeah. So that's where I'm at now. Let's do a uh, first test.